I can't tell if I'm in focus or if my vision's just blurry because I'm not wearing my contacts. Hey, this night is young, let's have some fun. Turn up, turn it up. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, happy new year. The 20s, the roaring 20s. Let's start off the video by saying I had the worst first day of the new year ever. Maybe not ever, but I didn't have that good of a day. And I just laid in bed and it was a really bad idea because then by about seven o'clock, I became very sad and lonely and not good. Had a journal for like two hours to make myself feel better because I just, um, confined myself to my room but that's fine we're gonna have a better day today even though i woke up in a bad room today and now it's 3 30 i woke up at one and uh, but today's gonna be better and this year's gonna be good anyway so we all know what new year's resolutions are and we all know that they're stupid and no one ever does them and why start out a good lifestyle right at the beginning of the year so i kind of came up with some as a joke like funny ones that i could actually do kind of instead of like, I'm gonna start working out and do it for like two weeks and then stop. So like, yeah. So my real New Year's resolutions for 2020. So first one we're gonna start with is one that I just faced. So I brushed my teeth before this video. So my teeth would be pretty. And um, then I decided I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee before I start filming so I can actually be enjoyable to watch. So I had just brushed my teeth and then I went, ew, that's disgusting. Why does this happen to me literally every single day? So I'm gonna stop drinking coffee immediately after I brush my teeth because it is the worst flavor in my taste buds. Second, ooh, <laughs> we're gonna stop leaving all of my empty cups in my room because at one point i had 13 half drinking water bottles in my room i'm so sorry turtles but now it's not water bottles it's cups well there's one water bottle but like it's cups and there's just cups all over my room just everywhere i can't they're literally just scattered everywhere and then you have to do that walk of shame with all your cups bringing them to the kitchen and your mom's like no you're finally bringing your cups out and you're like yeah Next, on the same topic of cups and stuff, we're going to talk about straws. I'm going to continue using metal straws. Watch my video because they're awesome. I love metal straws. Also, metal straws are awesome and they're condensating. And so they like get cold with your drink and it's like really, and they save the turtles. But also, New Year's resolution number four or five. I'm not keeping count because I'm not going to be able to. But eat less fish because fun fact 95 percent of pollution in the ocean is from leftover fishing equipment and not your little plastic straws it's from fishermen leaving behind their stuff in the ocean and then it kills the fish next resolution is come up with a new fun fact because i tell that one to every single person i come into contact with i'm probably not gonna eat less fish though because i really love sushi but um it's just an interesting fact to know if you actually want to save the world because here the cowgirls are environmentally conscious <laughs> next i want to say good morning every single morning now recently it's winter break so i've been waking up at like two o'clock in the afternoon but I'd still say good morning, and then my mom would be like, Riley, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'd be like, so I hope you had a good morning. And I think it just sets the day off on the right tone, because I love being told good morning. Next, I want to have healthier thought patterns, because if someone texts me, okay, instead of okay, it doesn't mean they hate me, and I don't have to want to die, so... It's fine, Riley. Okay and okay are the same things sometimes. Sometimes they're a little different. I feel like sometimes they can be a little different though. And like someone can say okay in the middle of a heated conversation and you know they can be different. But no, no, it does. I don't know what I'm saying. But who really knows? Next. Oh, going back to the coffee. I want to learn how to make good coffee at home because I never enjoy my coffee at home. And then I take a few sips and I'm like, why don't I just go get a coffee? And then I end up wasting five dollars like a lot of times and so instead of wasting five dollars i should just learn how to make good coffee at home 
Next, I have chosen that I want to talk more in class. Now, that goes against what you're told in elementary school. You're supposed to be quiet when you're in class. And I was always quiet in class. But then it turned out that I'm being too quiet in class. And I don't talk enough to where it's making it really difficult to make friends. Being just, being just like a sliver of disruptive. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't be disruptive. But... Talking in class sometimes, making those jokes that I think in my head could benefit my social life. So I've chosen to talk more. Next, I want to fix the Wi-Fi on my TV because the Wi-Fi on my TV has been out for like months now. And so I just, it just sits there black. This one's really simple. I just had to put my Wi-Fi password in, but I haven't done it in like three months. So I just want to finally get that accomplished now. Okay, today's January 2nd, and so far I've done a fantastic job, and I want to use my planner that I got for Christmas every single day, because I think it's, like, a really good way to, like, document your year, because, like, I don't really use planners for, like, planning things, because my days are all kind of the same, and they kind of all mesh together, because I kind of do the same thing every single day, <laughs> but, like, documenting more so, like, how I feel on a certain day, or, like, just, like, random funny things that happen on a certain day, so that I could, like, look back on it, and it'd be cool, and the planner I got is so cute. I'm going to show you it. So, it's one of those a question a day planners. And so far, I've done it from the 31st of December to January 2nd. So, like, you got, I got, like, my New Year's Eve one, my January 1st one, my January 2nd one. I wrote that I would film this video on the 31st, though, and now it's January 2nd. And I'm filming it two days later, but it's fine. See, that's why I don't like planners when you're using them to document things like that, because then you just end up feeling bad because you didn't do half the things you said you were going to do on that day. But, like, instead, I'll just, like, write cute stuff that happened on that day. Like, yesterday was New Year's, like, January 1st, and my family came over, and I drove my grandpa home, and he was just talking about cute stuff, about how he prays to God every day, about how he's thankful for his grandchildren and stuff, and then... It was it was just cute. It was a cute little memory. So I wrote that down instead of like I sat in my room and cried for two hours. <laughs> and then I also want to start like I don't want anyone to read it, but I'm going to start journaling more. And I'm really excited because last night I obviously didn't do anything all day yesterday. So last night I journaled and I was like, I'm going to do a little cover on my journal. And so like I said, like top secret. And then I said on the first page, as always, if your name is not Riley McKenna Patrick and you open this, then I will hate you and eat your leftovers and fart under your pillows. So think about that before opening this because I am not bluffing and this journal is for ranting. So it might not all be how I actually feel. So yeah, don't read. Anyway, I just want to start doing things like that so I can actually document my life because I feel like, like I think about a lot how like years go by or like you'll have a good day and a bunch of small good things will happen and then later that day you'll be like, wow, I'm not even going to remember that small thing that happened that was really good, but I'm not going to remember it because it's like not big. And so like if you journal about it, you can't remember it because like the... I don't know, the idea of growing up really scares me, like how years go by and you don't remember small really good things that happen because I really like small things. I focus on cute small things rather than like things you actually remember. And it's sad because you end up forgetting that all of those memories actually exist. Isn't that terrifying? <laughs> Next step on the list, raise my gas mileage. By not sitting in my car for extensive amounts of times, I don't, I don't, I don't, I do this thing where I go get fast food and I cannot, I cannot stand the idea of sitting in a restaurant by myself. Like, I can't. I mean, although, unless I was in like Paris and like Europe and like traveling by myself and just like eating croissants by myself and like drinking coffee. I'll drink coffee at a coffee shop by myself, but like eating food by myself, that is terrifying. I cannot do that. So I do this thing where I go through the drive-thru and then I park in the parking lot and eat my food and then my gas mileage goes down by like three points at a time and my gas mileage is terrible on my awesome Subaru Crosstrek that is supposed to have really good gas mileage. Also, I don't know if people are supposed to actually care about gas mileage. But my parents have ingrained that into my brain and I think about my gas mileage a lot. Next, I need to stop leaving my room. Like th there's literally a pile of clothes. There's always either a pile of clothes on my floor. Actually, there's always a pile of clothes on my floor, just like constantly. But whenever I go out, 
and I'm getting ready, there's always just like clothes piled literally everywhere, like all over my bed. And like, it's not that hard to hang up a top after you decide you don't wanna wear it. Last but not least, for some reason, this is the last one I wrote, but I'm gonna stop resorting to my beige depression sweater every time I'm depressed. If you see me wear, okay, wait, for, well, hold on, hold on. Let's not give a bunch of slack to this sweater. This is a fantastic sweater and she's comfy and I've made some really cute outfits out of her, but it's gotten to the point where I love this sweater so much that it has become my comfort. Like literally just touching it just makes me feel so comforted. It's my depression sweater. So like anytime I feel like crap, I'll just put on this sweater and then I mope around in this beige sweater for like three days at a time. Like I will literally wear this sweater so many days in a row. And it just, it keeps me, rather than comforting me, I've realized it's trapping me into that depression vibe because I know that it's my depression sweater now. Like I'm on to you, but I do love it. I'm probably not going to stop wearing this and I bought two more beige colored sweaters so so those are my real new year's resolutions i hope you enjoyed them found them relatable or um, whatever did you enjoy watching this i hope so um and yeah i just hope you all got all you got <laughs> i hope you guys have an amazing new year but also remember that like you're gonna have high and low moments every single year of your life but, like if your year is off to a bad start it doesn't mean the year in a whole is gonna be terrible like it's still you can either look at your life as like years at a time, which like a lot of people tend to do that when the year starts, but also just live your life day to day. Like you're gonna have bad days, you're gonna have good days. It's not that big of a deal. Bye. I love you cowgirls. The holiday season is over now. So now it's just gonna be cold and miserable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, bye. I love you. Bye. <laughs>